I've just tried this 894 clear on a uh, Chevy Equinox. This is the uh, high solids, uh, slower, more high gloss finish clear. Very nice clear for bigger jobs. And that was a lot of spraying. A little more than I've done in a while. Except for that uh, Tahoe. <laughs> Put it back in the booth to make some room. Just did a, another Equinox bumper and a Subaru Outback bumper. And paint wasn't really drying that fast today because it's pouring out all day. Humidity, waterborne, bad, bad mix. Messy Laura, yeah, definitely use the sun gun. It uh, was expensive at first, but we've had this thing for a few years and it uh, use it every day for just about every job. Um, make a lot of spray outs. And I have to make a whole new library again because I'm mixing all different colors. <laughs> all right. This is the old vet roof. Uh, James Freddy's, this is pretty much what's happening with these. They're separating right in that area. This one's definitely the first one I've seen that's actually doing it. So if that got a little worse, yeah, you'd, have, you'd be losing a roof panel on the road. That would be a bad thing. So they're good enough to be replacing them. Okay, so this is the red one pulling this in for the night. Um, these new vets don't have door handles. They have a solenoid. There's also one on the outside. Well, the black one that we have in, um, on the other, it's on the other side of the shop getting charged right now. They brought it over with a dead battery. Went to move it this morning and uh, couldn't open the doors. There was no way to get in the thing. And um, all they have is these fobs, you know. But um, the other one did have like a little little key on the bottom and uh, let's see the rear hatch kind of underneath by the license plate there's a way to open that um, so we got that open we had to crawl in um, get the hood open and uh, put a battery charger on that and then we could get power to the doors so we could open them and then turns out there is a little safety bypass that will open the door that's something I didn't know the first time I worked on one of these. I got in one, it was dead, and I was basically trapped in the car. I couldn't get out. <laughs> I had to wait till somebody walked by, pop the hood, and say, Hey, can you put a charger on this so I can open the door? <laughs> but uh, yeah, it turns out they got a thing down here that you can pull if that happens. And let's see, shifter will light up when I start this thing. There we go, it's pretty cool. But the seat is set to go all the way forward for some reason. And here's the new panel on here. Um, I just gave it a quick sand and compound. Um, one of the guys did the swap over the hardware so I could get some stuff painted. Um, I'm going to take it back off and finish compound and polishing tomorrow. Um, in here it actually, I think part of the reason is because the roof's still dull. Um, looked a little more vivid on this side, but uh, outside today it looked pretty good. Um, that's what they're going to get with a butt match. You know, I can say I need to blend three stages, so I'm blue in the face, but <laughs> got to do what you're told. Um, I went with the fast, fast clear on this. I kind of wish I didn't. It's not really snapping up that quick. Today's kind of cold and damp, so hopefully tomorrow it'll be cured a little more and I can get it polished better. And, uh, but yeah, I think she's going to fly. Um, it's funny, these were a different shade every time, every one we work on, they're a different shade. They're brighter, they're darker. Um, actually, the bumpers on this are quite a bit darker. Um, my butt match looked a little better than these bumpers outside, so. Outside, these, it, there's an angle where this looks like almost dark blue to red so that's one vet down just about a little more polishing okay uh, I don't get it <laughs> it's a nice cap for you Jeep guys. Whew, it's Friday. Just waiting for a car to finish cooking for a little bit. 
There's a Honda we put a quarter on. Did that yesterday. Uh, that was a big rush, and now it's just going to sit here for the weekend. Uh, here's the 95 Vet I've been working on. One of the guys put it together for me. The uh, paint work's been crazy. Uh, it all came at me at once. Um, pretty much we needed to get the hood lined up because that was cocked a little bit when it took the shot and uh, this latch wasn't really letting go but that's all working good again still waiting on some headlight parts but uh, I can pretty much get going on the paint job next week hopefully make sure my body work blocks out okay still got to adjust all this and yeah the old Camaro is moving right along <laughs> And here's the next one. The roof panel finally came in for this one. Get to shoot that Monday. Nice little three-stage pearl job on a Lex uh, Lexus, is it? Yeah, Lexus. That was fun. Just did a little repair here, so I blended. I got blend time for a three-stage. How about that? So this was the last one of the day. Um, one of the guys sanded and washed this for me earlier today. Um, Rolled this in in the booth at 4. It's not quite 5.30 now. Just masked it real quick. Uh, sealed it. I blended my sealer past the primer areas. Sealed the bumper. Sealed the whole nose. Um, hammered a good shot of base down. And being the water borne, I just went out and cranked the booth heat up and, and got the air. The air dryer is going. I needed it to dry out quick. Put the second coat on, hammered that on real good. Two coats coverage. Um, made a spray out to make sure. And uh, with the uh, PPG, you come back after you got coverage and your blends are done. And you drop your pressure down to uh, 17 pounds at the gun. And then you come up a little closer. And it's not a drop coat, they call it a control coat. And they have you kind of back blend. I always kind of blend it out, but now you kind of blending in with with an angle that way and then you go you go in close at 17 pounds and you go back and forth real quick and it goes on there and it looks real dull that's what you want it to look like before you clear that's the final color based on their chips how they're sprayed it actually works pretty good okay so I didn't get the farmhouse coffee this time uh, got a nice uh, coke coca-cola uh, it's a September, October vintage. Seems like a good choice. I'll do my best uh, Kramer impersonation. Here we go. Frothy, effervescent, sweet, delicious.